Michael here with This Week in LEGO News. With January promos, I found Series 25 early, and more 2024 set reviews, more from LEGO Star Wars, and are these new top 10 the best ever? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up at Amazon, LEGO Ideas BTS Dynamite is 50% off. From LEGO Marvel, the Endgame Final Battle is 38% off, and the King Namor's Throne Room is 46% off. From LEGO Dreams, the Stable of Dream Creatures is 36% off, and from LEGO creator, the 3-in-1 Main Street set is 25% off. Next from Barnes & Noble, there's a ton of sets 30% off, including sets from Jurassic World, City, Marvel, Super Mario, and more. Over at Walmart, the Star Wars UCS X-Wing is 17% off. The LEGO Super Mario Bowser's Airship is 25% off. The LEGO Ideas Grand Piano is 13% off. And the LEGO Disney Ice Castle is 16% off. Next over at LEGO, their end-of-year sale is on, including 30% off holiday sets like the Millennium Falcon Diorama and all the Advent Calendars. Plus, 30% off the LEGO Marvel Series 2 minifigures and many Monkey Kid sets. Sets. Plus, many more sets are on sale, so if you want to pick up any of these deals and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. And speaking of deals, this week we got the reveal of the January gift with purchase, the retro food truck with 310 pieces. You may recall this promo was accidentally revealed early alongside one of the press photos for the Natural History Museum modular building. But now getting the official photos, it makes me even more excited for next month's promos. On the side of the truck is the main window and a colorful awning. And around back, there's a flip down section with the condiments. And there's a cute folding sign. The inside is packed with details including a grill, counter with drinks, and even these little french fries. While we don't have the official promo details, I'd expect it to be around the $180 to $200 price range, just like we got for the moving truck and vintage taxi promos. But in any case, this one feels like a must-have for me. Speaking of January releases, there are around 140 or so brand new sets coming out on January 1st. And while I sadly can't talk about them all, I'm going to bring you my top 10 most anticipated sets for January 1st. At number 10, we've got Bowser's Muscle Car. This set makes a really fun fun display piece and is the cheapest way to get the Bowser buildable figure. And while it works with the interactive figures, I think this makes a great standalone. At number 9 from LEGO Friends, we've got Andrea's Modern Mansion. Whether you collect LEGO Friends or not, this set is undeniably amazing. With its really unique color scheme and tons of interior detail, this one is just a huge standout. And while $200 is certainly steep, this one really packs a lot inside. Plus, it reunites the original Friends characters. Next up at number 8, we've got from LEGO Dreams, Mr. Oz's Space Car. The design for the base car looks nice, but I also like its two different versions. And you gotta love gold versions of Mr. Oz and Albert. Next up at number 7, we've got from LEGO City the Modular Space Station. Having reviewed the set now myself, I can say this one is a ton of fun, with all of its different components and that modularity. At number 6, we've got from LEGO Sonic, Knuckles Guardian Mech. While many are disappointed that the mech doesn't come straight out of the game, it does have a fun large design. And while Knuckles and Rouge remain exclusive to the set, it's a must-have. Before we get to our top five, let's go through some honorable mentions. First from LEGO Marvel, we've got Rocket's Warbird vs. Ronin. On the whole, the ship's a nice size, and it's great to get two exclusive new figures. And I would have said the X-Men X-Jet if it wasn't so expensive. From LEGO City, we've got the Burger Truck. At $20, this one's a no-brainer, as I love the food truck designs and the figure with the cochlear implant. And similarly, the Interstellar Spaceship is just perfect to that price with the sleek design and great play features. Next from LEGO Creator, we've got the Wild Safari Animals, and the design for the giraffe is just stunning, with great alternate models for the lion and gazelles. The Crater Space Astronaut is also a really great design. Plus, you can build a space dog. Back at it, number five, we've got from Monkey Kid, Megapolis City. While certainly not the cheapest set, this one is incredibly unique. Celebrating five years of Monkey Kid with lots of Easter eggs from the show and Lego history. Next up at number four, we've got the Lego Lunar New Year Family Reunion Celebration. The design for the building looks unbelievable with great color and part usage. It would look great added to a Lego City and you get that unique golden dragon minifigure. Next at number three, we've got the Lego Collectible Minifigure Series 25. While I may not like the continued use of the cardboard boxes, I love the designs of this series. But I'll save the rest of my thoughts as I'm reviewing all these figures coming up next. Next at number two, we've got from Lego Star Wars, the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Any fan of Star Wars will love getting this set with its nine characters and great side builds. And I'd guess this might be the hardest set to find after the first. And finally at number one, we've got From Lego Marvel, Spider-Man vs. Sandman Final Battle. The set on its own makes a really great dynamic display. Not to mention it also includes the first lizard minifigure. But the reason I'm most excited is that you can combine it with the Spider-Man Final Battle set to make this really unbelievable display. With such a massive amount of sets coming out in just a couple days, I couldn't be more excited. And you'll have to let me know in the comments which sets you're looking forward to the most. And speaking of new sets, thanks to Lego and the Ambassador Network, I've got a bunch of sets to break down for you. The first 
Fresh said, I found myself early at Target, which is the collectible series 25. But sadly, this wasn't a fresh case, so I had to bring out my scale to get down to business. And thanks to an obsessive Google sheet, I was able to complete my set of 12. First up, we've got the Vampire Knight with the amazing helmet, that battle axe, and printed shield. The cape is unbelievable, and there's printed arms and dual molded legs. Next up, the Goat Herder has that classic castle vibe with printing on the legs. There's arm printing in a backpack. Plus, it's just amazing to see the epic return of the goat mold. The Triceratops costume fan has that awesome new molded headpiece, plus printing on the arms and legs and even a printed tail. The train kid looks adorable with this large new train mold with the printed dish at the front. Plus, he's got a face with the eye patch and that great blue hat. The fierce barbarian looks great with that new hair mold. Plus, there's even side arm and leg printing on the dual molded legs. The mushroom sprite looks adorable with that brand new mushroom headpiece. Plus, there's a skirt, dual molded legs, and a butterfly print. The dog groomer looks nice with that apron print, and I love the dual molded hairpiece with the cochlear implant. But the new mold for the Afghan hound piece is just stunning. The esports gamer comes with tons of accessories, included a printed mouse and keyboard. Plus, side leg printing, dual molded arms, and the Vita Rush sponsorship. The sprinter looks awesome with a new hairpiece and printed podium. Plus, I really love the inclusion of the dual molded prosthetic legs. The fitness instructor comes with a bottle of Vita Rush and a 10 pound kettlebell. Plus, there's a nice tattoo arm print and dual molded legs. The film noir detective looks awesome in that monochromatic look with the high collar, new fedora piece, and of course the red herring. And finally, we've got the harpy with the gold claws, arm and leg printing, and those giant wings. Getting these new series is definitely a challenge, but if you can get them, it's a really great set. And some of my favorites are the Vampire Knight, Triceratops, and Goat Herder with a new goat. Next up, we've got the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Retro Camera, which includes 261 pieces and retails for $20. All put together, the build looks really nice, and the camera features a nice compact build with its retro stylings, and even includes a rainbow fabric strap that came in this box. From here, we can see the controls and working viewfinder. You can rotate the gear to set the mode and wind the camera. And you can use the crank on the left to rewind the film. The back door opens up to reveal the film. And there's actually two reels of film included, which all feature stickers that have different LEGO Creator 3-in-1 models on them. And either one can be loaded in the back. The set also includes instruction manuals to make a retro TV and a camcorder, though I definitely think the retro camera is the strongest of the three. Compared to the upcoming LEGO Ideas Polaroid camera, it's definitely a little bit smaller in terms of scale, but I really think it checks the same box. And I really think this is just the perfect little display set. Next from LEGO Super Mario, we've got Yoshi's Excellent Forest, with 117 pieces, retailing for $10. And this is the first Mario Wave with paper instructions. While the set is small, it does make a nice little display on its own, though there's a clear front side and you'll definitely want to leave the Yoshis on. At the back, there's a nice tree build with apples. At the center, there's a build with this awesome printed Yoshi's Egg, which is printed on both sides. And there's an exclusive sticker tile to interact with Mario. And on the right, there's an apple box. While we've gotten both of these colored Yoshis before, they do look really nice. And this ain't bad for $10. Next in LEGO Fortnite news, since we've talked, they've been releasing slowly more and more Star Wars characters on the item shop, including Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Maul, Anakin Skywalker, and Padme Amidala. And available now is Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. And when you buy skins for LEGO Fortnite, you also get the Battle Royale skins. Plus, you've got a day or so left to pick up the Winterfest gifts, including two LEGO Fortnite skins. And if you want to pick these up and support the channel, use creator code TALKBREX. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there were three more projects at 10,000 supporters on the platform. First up, we've got the Pink Palace Apartment from Coraline. The build with its bright pink color scheme looks straight out of the film, and inside there's many of the different interior sections to recreate scenes from the movie. In the past, we have seen a similar idea rejected, but it's interesting because this is actually the second project based on this to be in this review, so I'm curious to see how it'll do. Next up, we've got the Italian Riviera. The build features the seaside location with lots of great textural detail, and between the way the buildings are built with their interior detail and all of the external detail and minifigures, there's a lot of stories to tell here. Though sadly, there have been a few Italian-based projects that haven't made it through. Finally, we've got Subnautica the Aurora. Straight out of the video game, this iconic vessel has been captured really nicely, with its unique shaping and detail around the engine. While it's clear this UCS-style build would make a really great set, we have seen many video game projects not make it through. So I'm curious about its chances, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, another fun week in LEGO news. As we enter the new year, there are a ton of fun January sets coming, and it was great to get to break down my top 10, and even more fun to get to review some of them for you. And as far as New Year's resolutions goes, mine's going to be to try to not to buy all the new sets. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win.
and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.